with October behind us, it's time to start setting up our leaf theme. I've incorporated some acorns and some squirrels. A lot of activities here and a lot of good learning to be had with the leaf theme, so I'm really excited about that. So I'll start off with my real images that I found for my wall. We have some squirrels munching on some acorns here. Super cute. Those are going to look great. And then some acorns as well as some beautiful images of fall leaves to decorate our walls with. We also have an image of a family raking leaves and a child playing in the leaves. So lots of good images for the children to learn from and to look at. For my writing station, I just have some nice pre-writing activities here. I've got these laminated and all ready to go. These are always a favorite. They're a great thing for them to get some pre-writing skills in as they follow that path from the little squirrel to the acorn. I've got a nice coloring page of a squirrel and then all of these nice dot pages from the fall dot page packet from teaching two and three year olds. So lots of nice things to add into our writing center. We can get something in there new and fresh every day along with maybe some stickers and some small papers, crayons, and colored pencils for them to work with. Also we have our floor activities here. I like to call them carpet or floor activities. These could be done with a group. You can do them with an individual child but for working on some math skills and number recognition they can do some one-to-one -one correspondence with this little squirrel and acorn. I also have some little plastic acorns here that you could use the quantity with with the numeral and get that recognition in as well as these nice number leaves and all of these were in the teaching two and three year old prop packet really utilizing these and thinking of a lot of fun and different creative ways to be using these learning materials fun games that we can play at circle time um, or just as a group activity or small group activity as they learn how to use these and then they can turn into a shelf activity or a tabletop we've got basic counting cards here as well as some count and clip cards for circle time we are going to be doing the song gray squirrel which is a really cute action song and then leaves are falling and this one helps to work with colors and then also is a good movement and then we have more carpet game or group activity type games here we can play with these different shape cards these are really great for learning the different shapes so this is what color is your leaf and then they would just after you pass all the colors they bring them up and set them on the correct card symmetry matching leaves and then the color matching puzzle I find that they just really work great with magnets and I'm gonna put magnets on these and put them on my magnet board we have some pom-pom cards here which are really nice we've got a leaf a squirrel and an acorn they'll just match the different pom-poms onto the cards and those will be a really nice uh, tabletop activity for the children to have pretty easy and self-explanatory. So I found these foam leaf cuts as well as these acorns. I think I'm just going to do some collaging activities, maybe have them glue on the mini pom-poms along with some fall colored paper and just make some colorful collages. For our play-doh, I found these cute little mini cookie cutters and I think they'll have fun using that little button on there and stamping out some different shapes. And then we also have just a basic leaf shape stamp. And then we're still really enjoying our pumpkin spice play-doh that we made it smells so good and it's still really soft i've found that if i do the cook version of these play-dohs they stay together so much better and they are a lot less crumbly and a lot less likely to like dry up and then this is just like the exact for one child to use at a time and it doesn't get out of control i think we'll do some stamping with the paint in these bigger chunkier stamps and i just have a few fall ones out so we'll just maybe cover the whole table in paper and get some paint out and let them just have fun with those. I've been kind of collecting some little wood cuts for some fun woodcut painting. We can use that with the tempera paint. And then this activity, what color is your leaf? I think I am just going to go ahead and use either watercolors on this and maybe another day we can do the dot paints. I think those will look really nice. And then I've cut these little leaves out of the coffee filters. You can either 
either paint those with dot paints and squirt water on them, either with a squirt bottle or just with a dropper, or you can put different colors of liquid watercolor in some kind of container like this where it separates the colors out and let them squeeze the colors onto the filters. And then this is painting activity we're going to do where they make a tree with the brown paint using their arm and handprint like that. And if you have children that are maybe a little bit older or they just don't want to coat their arm with paint, you can also use like a rectangle wooden block and teach them how to make a tree with little branches coming off with the brown paint. You could even get some twigs outside and they could stamp it the twigs and make a tree that way. And then once it's all dry, the next day we can put the stickers on and decorate the tree with some nice fall leaves. This is a paper play activity. This is going to be a wreath where I cut out the center and then I have these little cloth leaves that they can glue around the outside as they please and make a fall wreath. And then I've got some ribbon that I picked up from the dollar store and we can tie that on the top. One thing you could do too is you could do a cute picture of the child in the center here, print that out and glue that to the middle or have them draw a self-portrait and that would also, instead of a wreath, it would just make a cute little fall picture frame. Another thing I'm going to do with these cloth leaves is I'm going to write the child's letters to their name on them and then put them in these little cloth the bags and then I'll put their name on the outside of the bag too. It doesn't have to be the cloth bag. You can definitely use a paper bag with these as well, but it's a great little name recognition or name writing activity where they can start lining up the letters of their name in a fun way that utilizes these little cloth leaves. And then in the dramatic play, I've got this like felt tree that goes on the wall and then these are the little felt leaves with velcro on the back and they'll just stick up there on that felt tree. And then I think we will We'll do a little bit of leaf sweeping or raking in the dramatic play with some more of these fabric leaves and they can put them in the bag and do that over and over again. So get a little bit of gross motor activity in there, some practical life. Some of the books that we'll be adding to our library and reading with the kids, I found this little board book that has different textures. I think all the ages will enjoy this one. Also going on a leaf hunt, this one we can reread over and over again. And then also Leaf Man. This this is a beautiful book. This is one you probably want to keep up high, not really leave out in the library, but it will be a nice book to read to the children. And then after we read it and we're familiar with it, we can collect some leaves and make our own leaf man art. On the light table, I collected some of these Voss water bottles. They had the large ones at Ross. They were like a dollar fifty. I think I'm gonna put the fall colors in these, maybe with some little plastic leaves and some glitter, make some nice fall leaf sensory bottles that will look great on the light table. Here's my activity overview. I've put some of these activities in here just using my fall curriculum from teaching two and three year olds. This is just super awesome. She's got a ton of great ideas in here. I've used it for the last three months and if I've been able to put some of these activities into the overview and this is a just simple way to help me look at the next two weeks at a glance and see everything that we're doing from our sensory bin to the dramatic play and get all of these things organized. I don't always do do these things in exact order. Some days I think, oh, I need like an easy activity today. It's been a little rough or maybe not too many people are here today and I'm doing something that's going to go into the children's portfolio. So I can switch these activities up and I can switch them around and do them when I see best fit. But now I need to get all of this organized and to get my room set up and my old theme stuff put away and so I can get all this new stuff out and we can have a lot of fun when the kids come next week they can explore and we can have all these new activities for them to work on. Within the next week or so I'll be making a new video showing the kids working with these materials so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. <music>